your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. It is a cool start to our Friday. We've got some temperatures out there closer to the low 50s than they were yesterday. 52 in Terre Haute out at the airport. 50 in Paris. 54 in Robinson right now. A couple of upper 50s sprinkled in there, but again, everybody's starting off a little cooler than average and definitely cool as the day begins. Winds are coming in out of the southeast right now. They're light this morning at around 5, 6 miles per hour. Uh, we'll find those winds kind of pick up speed a little bit as we get into the afternoon, a southeast breeze at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. But once again, we're going to stay dry as we go throughout the day today. As we get into tomorrow now, also a little breezy on Saturday. But on Saturday, not only are we going to have a little bit of a breeze, we're also going to have a lot of clouds and we are going to have rain to start the weekend. By Sunday, winds start to shift. We get a little bit drier and I think we'll have some sunshine to wrap up the weekend. Boy, you can see what's going on out to the west of us. Literally from the Gulf Coast all the way through the Great Lakes. There's plenty of clouds, plenty of moisture, and quite a bit of activity. So that means we're in line for some of this activity to move in. But that's not going to happen until late tonight in the overnight hours. So clouds will start to increase some. Already seeing that this morning. We'll get sunshine mixing in throughout the day. So again, not a bad day at all. I think temperatures continue to warm despite the cloud cover. We'll go with those clouds later this afternoon and mix with that sunshine throughout the evening evening hours. Overnight is when we start to track some of those rain chances. So this puts us now closer to 5 a.m. tomorrow morning and we're starting to see some of those showers edging into the area. I think our Saturday is going to start with some light rain showers as we go through the day as well. We'll continue to have the opportunity for scattered rain. So Saturday is not a day that is going to be dry. Now I don't think it rains the entire day, but when it's not raining, it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be noticeably cooler as well. By Sunday morning, this energy is now pushing its way east and out of the area. And Sunday is going to be the better of the two days as far as the weekend goes. We may have a few isolated areas of rain Sunday afternoon, but I really think most of Sunday will be dry. By Monday, though, we're tracking more energy coming in. Monday afternoon, showers and some thunderstorms. Same for Tuesday, same for Wednesday. It is going to be an active week next week with some day-to-day -day chances of showers and a few embedded thunderstorms and it's going to be warmer and more humid as well until late in the week when we'll finally clear this energy out and temperatures will again start to cool toward later next week. And you can kind of see that with the temperature trend. We're going to push some of the cooler air that's been in place this week out. We're going to warm things up as we get into next week. A lot of 80s to start the week. By late week, here comes that shot of just a little bit cooler air. So by a week from today getting into next week, you're going to notice temperatures cool off from where they'll be for most of the work week. Today's temperatures rise to 79 degrees, a nice warm afternoon. We'll go partly cloudy again, dry conditions, but we will mix some clouds in throughout the day. Tonight, partly cloudy. Initially in the overnight hours, though, I do think we'll be tracking some light rain starting to move our direction. Unfortunately, Saturday is not going to be a day without rain. So if you've got things going on Saturday, and I know the air show is happening, it's not the better of the two weekend days. Sunday, looks dry most of the day. I don't think we'll have any worries of rain. Next week, day-to-day -day chances, as you can see, staying warm through early in the week. We've got mid-80s for daytime highs. By Thursday, that rain exits, and then by a week from today, I think we'll be back in the 70s again with comfortable readings by the end of next week. Walker Hayes at the mill tonight, yeah. kicking off their season, so it's going to be nice weather for that. Beautiful night for an outdoor concert. All awesome. right. All right. Thank All right. You so thank much.